This is code.org. Let's see what we have. In number list.java, write a method calculate sum to calculate and return the sum of all values in the number list. All right, so we have an array list of integers. Um, and then we add 20, 20. Oh, interesting. And then at index 0, we add 10. So it would now be 10, 20, 20. And then at the end, 50. So 10, 20, 20, 50. All right. So first off, it looks like in number list, write the method to calculate the sum. All right, calculate the sum. So how do we calculate a sum? I'm going to start with int.sum. Oop, except they're integers. So I'm not going to force a conversion there. I'll just do integer uh, sum is equal to zero. And then we want to add up all the integers in our list. Uh, we could use either type of for loop. I might use a for each loop here. And so for a loop integer numbers let's see if this works and then oh no i'll say number or maybe i could just say num to be clear and then numbers boom 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 and then sum is going to be plus equal so sum will be equal to what it used to be equal to plus what the current number is and then we want to return oh no we're returning an int so this needs to be int and ooh, is this gonna fight me we will find out let's see if this airs it's gonna it's gonna oh okay so it's actually letting me do that which is great let's go ahead now and let's see if this is actually working and then i want to show you alternative routes if it is all right so let's head back over here change the value at index 2 to 30 and they want us to use set so if you're not familiar, documentation, like always, documentation, documentation, documentation. By the way, documentation is what professional developers use at like the Googles and the Amazons when they get stuck. So this is stuff that people actually look at, not just like kid gloves. All right. So we need to use set and, oh, are you guys going to, you going to do this to me after I just hit upon? Really? I'm slightly salty. That should be in documentation. And since it's not, I just magicked my way. I actually Googled uh, array list. This is Oracle's documentation because developers actually use this type of thing. And here's set. We would need to give it the index we want to set and the element that we're setting it to. All right, code.org, you should have that. Just saying. All right, numbers.set and bloop. At index value two to 30. So. Index we want to set as two, value would be 30. Bloop. And then we need to call to calculate sum. Numbers list, uh, this is static, so we don't have to instantiate an object to numbers list. We can just say numbers list dot calculate sum, which I'm gonna do. And then we need to pass it our numbers list. And print the result. So it's gonna return an int, so I might say just result, or I could print this directly. I'll put some, which you don't have to, but whatever. 110, which would make sense because 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 50 is a hundred. But the second index, we got rid of a 20 and we replaced it with a 10. Now guys, keep in mind, like always, there's a hundred ways to do something right. I didn't need to have a result variable. I could have just done this. I didn't need to relate the word sum. I could have written the word result. I could do whatever I wanted. Num list. All right, so I could do a for, it would be dot size because it's an array list, I plus plus. This also would work great. And then I could do sum is plus equal numbers dot get I, and then I would return sum still, and this should work just the same. But ah, uh, and it does. So if you're coding and you think, ah, this is definitely the only right answer, there's often a better answer or a correct-ish answer, but there's usually more than one correct answer. So anyways, onward.